What's up you guys? So today I want to introduce to you all a brand new series called Heavy Weapon Concepts. These videos are going to be a bit shorter than my average video, but it's just because I really want to cover these concepts one weapon at a time. And the reason this is going to be called Heavy Weapon Concepts rather than just Heavy Weapons is because the weapons I'll be going over in this series aren't actually in the game. At least, not yet. But regardless, the weapons I do want to cover here are pretty clever and well thought out, and I'm sure some of you guys could actually see these weapons being in the game someday. So I want to show these off to you guys, see your reactions to each weapon, and ultimately give my final thoughts on whether I think these concepts should make it into the game or not. But before we start, I want to give a big shout out to Custom TF2 Weapons for making this all possible. If you'd like to try out some of these custom weapons for yourself, you can check out their servers listed on their YouTube channel, and consider supporting them and their servers on Patreon. So the first weapon I want to start off this new series with is the Mobile Sentry. Originally created by Steam user Astute, this weapon was basically created as kind of a riot shield slash minigun combo under the name the Bulletproof Battery. However, the stats for the battery were very shaky and never quite completed. But now, redone as the Immobile Sentry, this weapon's stats have been updated a lot and make for quite a different weapon. So to begin, yeah, we've got a lot to cover. So I'll try and start with the positives here and then move towards the negatives. Okay, so basically this weapon went from being a complete riot shield slash minigun combo to more of like a manualized sentry. See, when the heavy deploys his weapon, he's not just slowed down like with every other minigun, he's actually completely immobilized, meaning heavy cannot move at all unless it's to aim his gun. Once this weapon begins firing though, it's insanely powerful, dealing a 250% faster firing speed than a typical stock minigun. The ammo on this thing drains fast, but for every bullet you'd hit, you'd gain one bullet of ammo back. And trust me, after playing with a version of this gun that didn't come with the ammo regen, I can assure you, you're gonna want that advantage, because otherwise you're gonna be constantly running for ammo packs. Not only that though, but for how many bullets this thing can fire at once, it's also incredibly accurate from just about any range. It almost seems to shoot in a square pattern, almost like a shotgun when it's missing random bullet spread. But the last crazy thing about this weapon is that while the immobile sentry is revved, the heavy has a 100% knockback penalty, meaning not only can the heavy not move himself, but you're not going to move him either. What that basically means is that no amount of rockets, loose cannons, force of natures, or air blasts are going to move this heavy back, so long as his weapon's revved. Okay, so to make up for these obviously insane and otherwise overpowered advantages, this weapon comes with a ton of downsides, however. To start off, just to get things started, you have a 1.5 second rev up time, which actually comes in even slower than the Brass Beast. Second, to make up for the faster firing speed and ridiculous accuracy, this weapon comes with a 50% damage penalty, a 50% health penalty, and a complete inability to crit. Now that might sound already harsh enough to some of you, but the creator still didn't think it was enough. So the last downside for this weapon is that it cannot capture anything while deployed. In other words, while revved, you cannot capture a single point or push any carts. Not only would this make defending yourself on a point rougher, but this would also essentially remove that advantage you'd get from a payload cart, where you could just ride the cart to make up for any lack of movement speed. In fact, if you try and rev with this thing by yourself, the cart will just stop moving entirely, and if you try and ride the cart while someone else is pushing, you'll just fall off. So with all these downsides, you might think that this weapon would be balanced enough, but honestly, I just don't think the community would like this weapon as it currently stands. My number one reason being, this weapon kills enemies entirely too quick. Like, for instance, I've seen numerous examples of the immobile sentry just shredding scouts, snipers, spies, and other classes, and hardly giving them any time to react. In fact, technically for mid-range, this weapon could drop a full health heavy in less than one second flat, which is pretty ridiculous. The other downside I think could annoy players too much is the 150 full health cap on the heavy. It essentially takes the role of the tank class away from the heavy, but leaves him just as slow, if not slower. This makes the heavy incredibly easy to kill, and trust me, I experienced a lot of it for myself. Now sure, you could try and rely on a medic for the extra health boost, but even then, the immobile sentry caps your overall health at 225, still not giving you much to work with. And if you're caught without that, you can ironically die just about as fast as you can kill with this thing. Two rockets, two pills, one quickscope, you take your pick and your heavy will be destroyed. But really, those two issues are my only main grievances with this weapon. As far as the other downsides go, I think they'd be pretty easy to work with. For instance, you might not be able to capture the point while revving, but that doesn't mean your teammates can't for you. The same technically then could be said for the payload cart. And while the downside of being completely immobile might sound pretty risky, 
I imagine it wouldn't be too much different from getting good with a Brass Beast. You just have to really pick your spots, know when to pull back, and know when to not play too aggressively. Overall though, I think the Immobile Sentry would make an awesome concept for the future and could absolutely make it into the game. Sure, it may need a little work for now, but I think with a slightly higher damage penalty, some ammo regen per hit, and a change in max health, this weapon would just about be balanced enough for matchmaking. On top of that, I gotta say I just love the look of this weapon too, as it's not too far off from the normal TF2 aesthetic and isn't too goofy or edgy looking. So for a future update, I think if Valve wanted to, this weapon could absolutely be worked into the game. But let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this weapon, if you think it could work, and even if you'd like to see it in the game. I'll be making a few more of these, so I'll definitely be interested in seeing your feedback below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video, and until next time, this was Big Joey! Later.